technology on how to do everything. Whether that is we want to have a look at the new EFI systems, the new computer systems that are running cars, new ignition systems, and sometimes there's also new technology for some old school work. In this case, there's some new technology out there for panel beating. Now, if you've been watching the channel and you've been watching Rides Down Under Workshop Wars on 7 Mate, you will know about the HMAS Pacer project that Big Al, our number one apprentice, has been working on. It's very hard to find parts for these cars now, and sometimes we have to fix what we have. And that's the case with this front guard for the HMAS Pacer. It had an extremely bad dimp here that was stretched right out. You can see where the bumper bar had come into it and dented it, and there was a lot of stretching in the steel. Now, when it comes to panel beating, there's a lot of different ways of shrinking steel. You've got your shrinker stretcher, which we've got one of here, although, as you can see, that would be quite difficult to get into this area of the garden and fix it. You've got your shrinking slapping pile, which we could have used. There's other methods, you've got shrinking hammers, you've got the really old school way of heating the area with an oxy, panel beating it, and then shrinking it immediately with some cold. But this time around, we've got a client who was telling us about his new machine. Now this is Brett from South East Dent Repairs down here, and we wanted to see this machine in action. So he goes around and he can fix your dents when your car's still painted, as long as he's got access to the rear of the guard. But in this case, we thought we'd challenge his new machine that he's brought in from overseas and get him to have a go at shrinking this section of the guard. So I'll let him explain how it works. But my idea of how it works is it's very similar to the oxy torch way, the old fashioned oxy torch way, where it heats an area and you panel beat it and then it'll shrink back down. The only thing he doesn't do is cool it. So have a look at what he's done. He'll have it explained and you can see the difference between the before and after. I'm quite impressed and I'm thinking I might put one of these machines on our shopping list to get into the shop as well, just to make our life a little easier. You got your big crown along the top here. Mm -hmm. It's still a bit of, it's a little bit smaller now, but. Yep. Is that what we're doing? Open this. And we've shrunk along the top here. Yep. So now we're going to try side to side. Get a little bit more out of it. So that's just high heat, yeah? Um, just like doing a tiny little weld. But you're not actually welding. But it's no welding. I'm not, I'm not completely sure how it works, but a guy on YouTube said that it was, uh, changing the metal on a molecular level. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but... That sounds good. So that'll get you hot. Just a little bit too hot to touch. Have you ever tried holding it in one spot and seeing what happens? No. We won't try it on this. No, don't try it on <laughs> this one. <laughs> I just wonder if it'll burn a hole through it. Probably would eventually. Like we're only on a very low setting, so. That's just a really, really light tap. Yeah, because you're trying to shrink the metal. So we've got that much metal in that much hole. Sorry. You've got a hole that big and we're trying to put that much metal into it. Yeah. So as it shrinks, it should, maybe not the sharper bit, but it should all just fall into place, so. Magic. Yeah. And if you start hitting it too hard, of course, you start getting... Dents. Start getting more dense and te textured it up and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it has got a couple of lows on each side. Now you can do this with the paint on, yeah? 
So how does it not damage the paint? Or do you have to go from the back side? Well, yeah, to do this, you'd sand the paint off the back and yeah. and do it. And okay. as hot as I was even going then, I wouldn't go that hot if it had... Paint on it, because you burn the on paint it. on it. Yes. So, which I haven't done that yet. I haven't uh, wrecked paint. anyone's paint job yet, but... And you're just going along the top of the line? Yeah, so just trying to smooth out that little southern bit there. The ridge line, basically, yeah? Yeah. Which is coming down there, so, which is good. So whereas traditionally we'd use a slapper and a file. Yeah. While on something like this, you'll probably have to finish it off like that because, as I say, this is a little bit different than what I usually yeah. do. But um, yeah, yeah, I'll get it. To, I'll get the ridge out and get I'll try and get those couple of lows up. But yeah, that's about as far as I'll go because uh, yeah. yeah, it will need to be filed and yeah, um, probably a little bit of filler in it. Super. Yeah. So we've finished, you've finished pulling all of the stretch out and mm -hmm. that looks much better already. So. Yep. Nice and tight everywhere. Yep. There's no tin canning. And you can do this with the paint on. Yes. From behind. From behind. Not, not behind. on the paint, obviously, yes. because that'll burn the paint. And you will go out and do this to people's cars. Yes, mobile service. So we We're are on site. South South Eastern Dent Repair. Dent repair. Oh, there we go. So, super. So you'll come out and have a go at all of the little dents that you can get to and pull them out without taking the paint off, which is really good. Yes, so, specialising more in paintless. Yeah, so, but today... But doing you know, a bit of this today. For yeah. Fun. So, and to show what you can do. Absolutely. So, we've just got a little bit of panel beading to get a low spot out, and that's it. Thanks for watching, and let us know what you think in the comments below of Brett's machine and how he's shrunk this area. If you want to grab some merchandise, head on over to our store. I've got the Crank and Charger t shirt on. We've got some of the other cars that you've seen us build through Rides Down Under Workshop Wars. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and leave a comment. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and click the notification bell. If you like the t-shirts that you see the crew wearing, there's a link in the description below where you can grab some for yourself. Thanks for watching.